Hey everyone, um, today I wanted to talk to you about all of the ways that I feel like I have failed and um, I want to start off by saying first of all I don't think that um, failure is a negative or bad thing. Um, I think that if you fail that means that you've given yourself the opportunity to also succeed so I applaud and commend myself for that but let's be real I fucking failed <laughs> um, and that's okay it's uh, you know it's all learning and um, so I'll take you back a little bit I wanted to um, when I was in school I majored in design uh, fashion design and um, sophomore year I wanted to change my major so bad. I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to be a painter. You know, like that's really that's what I'm here for. That's where I feel the most peace, and that's how I want to share my gift with the world. Um, my parents said, No, absolutely not. Like, get the fuck out of here. You will never make any money as a painter. That is the you know that is the most cliche like broke job ever. You know, so um, so I stuck it out. I said okay and. You know, I'm grateful for um, for that also because then I wouldn't um, I wouldn't have the skills that I have now. You know, sewing and I don't. I mean, I don't really even know the curriculum at all. So who can say? And you know, like everything happens for a reason. So you know, no no bad vibes there. I don't care at all. And I met so many amazing people in my curriculum that um, you know are amazing. So that in itself is, is a blessing. Um, and so, uh, I got an internship in the design industry and I didn't like it. <laughs> and then when it came time to look for a job, I got a job. I liked it for two months. Um, but that was just kind of like the dazzle. I was working with one of my great friends and, um, that was amazing. And then, um, there was like the dazzle of like a new job and you know oh my gosh uh you know there's new people I'm doing something and uh the the sparkle wore off quickly and um it turned into a really really sad time for me and I was crying every single day at lunch like I can't do this anymore it's like breaking my soul and I just don't want to be a part of this and I was also um, listening to these, uh, really inspirational, <laughs> like super, super inspirational, like TED Talks and, you know, podcasts. And so I would just be like, in like, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would like open my eyes, look around and be like, oh my God, where am I? Get me out of here. I'm going to jump out the window. And, um, we were all encouraging words of like, you can do it, you know, start your own, do it, do yourself, you know, you know everything is what you make it and it was phenomenal but um really really I would maybe not recommend listening to it um at a job that you dislike uh because it makes you want to cry and you know question your existence um which is okay um and then it got like really bad where I would like have to go into the bathroom every hour and do like <laughs> breathing exercises. I was doing um, pranayama, which is like alternate nostril breathing. It's pretty powerful. You, like um, go like this and then you inhale, switch, exhale, and then inhale, exhale so it's just like switching nostrils um as you breathe and I would do like nine or ten of them and be able to you know go back and work <laughs> but um that you know that's not that's not uh that's not a healthy environment um especially um I mean for anyone it's not a healthy environment if you feel that way and, you know everyone was saying well you know why can't you just see the positive of this and why can't why can't you just you know like look at the good things but it comes to a point when um at least for me I cannot lie to myself at all and um I trust my inner guidance system and my feelings and I don't um I don't discount that at all so I know that if I'm feeling bad that there's a reason for it and that I have to figure it out and move on you know do do something so in um in May I quit my job and, 
<laughs> I didn't tell my parents for t- I live at home and I didn't tell my parents for two weeks and I would just like go into Manhattan and like sit around and draw <laughs> or like do something and then finally I was like and that got that got really tiring I mean that I lasted two weeks I was like all right and you know it was cool I would like go to museums too and learn explore but um that wore off quickly too obviously because I was like I'm not accomplishing anything at all and this is not helping and I couldn't figure out like if I wanted if I was really um going to start my own kind of company or if I was looking for a job so I'd like bring my computer with me and like apply for jobs also and hear nothing back from anyone (laughs) and then um and then finally I like called my dad and I was like dad I'm not working anymore and he was like oh I understand it's okay um and that was that was a great day and then I went to Whole Foods in Union Square and had the best brunch ever I made it to their breakfast bar and I love Whole Foods breakfast bar so much and that was one thing that I was always like while I'm working I can't go to Whole Foods breakfast bar um so I did that and that was a nice treat for myself um mm, yeah uh anyways (laughs) so um I finally decided, I was like, all right, so I'm going to start my own company now. I'm going to go in and do it. And, uh, I mean, everything in our life is a reflection of us, especially evident in relationships and your business. So, (laughs) so my, I, I was not ready. I was not prepared. I didn't have a plan. I didn't know what I was doing. I was sharing someone else's message. I was, um, you know, so many things, so many things that I was, that I can look back on now and say, oh, let's not do that anymore. (laughs) You know, let's not do that anymore. Um, but I gave myself the opportunity to, um, fail or to succeed, depending on how you look at it. And, um, I learned so much. So, I mean, I, I bought fabric and um, I was like, I'm going to make my own children's clothing and I have a great concept and I have a phenomenal, you know, I have beautiful, I got these beautiful artisanal hand block print fabrics from India there and the guy was like sending me all the pictures from his factory and he's so, so, so sweet and he was like, if you come to India, please like let me know and I will show you around and I like, I I'm going to go obviously at some point in my life. I hope next year. That's I'm putting it out there, universe. I'm going to India next year. Um and you know, like see what happens. Um I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, so I got this fabric and I was like, all right, I have, you know, the designs. I it was inspired by um, a child that I sponsor in India. His name is Santanu, and I love him so much through uh, Children International. And um, he sent me drawings, and so I would, you know, I make clothing inspired by his drawings, and I kind of picture that large scale. And um, I mean, it could be used anywhere uh, for any child. And I thought, you know, clothing made by children for children, and it's so 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 special and sweet and dear to my heart. But, but, here's the but, um, when you make, okay, so you design, the, the process of making clothing is, um, concept, you know, in your head, and then you design it, so you draw it, you know, illustrate it, drape it, you know, however you want to do it. I draw it, so then you have to turn it into a piece of clothing, (laughs) and to turn it into a piece of clothing, the best practice is to make a pattern for it. I hate pattern making so much. I fucking hate it. And, you know, I would lie to myself all the time. I mean, frequently and say, you can do this. You know, this is for your, this is for your company. This is for Santanu. This is for, you know, this is, you can do it. I can't do it. I like don't, I just don't want to. And if I don't want to do something, then I, I, it's like, I don't really love, I don't love sewing. I know how to sew now which I'm grateful for. I think that's a very valuable skill, but I don't want to do it. I don't like, I would rather pay someone to do it. And I'm not at that point now. So, 
now I know for the future. Um, I know that when I do have a stronger foundation to build my company, I'm going, the first person I'm going to hire is a pattern maker. And uh, we're going to work together and make make clothes. And I think this needs to be more of a team effort. I think um, while it's phenomenal to be able to, you know, just jump out and start your own thing, I think uh, for what I'm looking for is definitely going to be a group effort. And I look forward so hard to working with amazing, beautiful people who have, you know, the same um, ambitions of helping children. And um and I learned so much this summer, like, so much about myself and about life and about people. And, like, that experience in its own is irreplaceable to me. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity. And I know that if I if I hadn't jumped off the wheel, uh, wheel, I don't know, whatever, if I hadn't jumped in May, then I would have done it eventually. And I feel like now... Um, now is the best time for me to do that because, uh, I mean, who knows where I would be in, you know, three years if I decided to do that or even next year if I decided to do that and then, like, I don't know. I don't know where I'll be. Who knows? At least I'm safe now and I know, I know what happens and I, that's my, that's my character. I don't, I never try, <laughs> I like don't really trust any, anyone, any, anything anyone says. I just need to experience it for myself. Um, so... I learned a lot and I also learned how important support is. Um, I was feeling really urged to do this also because uh, so many people that I know uh, work, like work for themselves or um, have created something amazing and probably actually definitely over half of the people that I know. So a very, very large percentage of people um, and all of those people have supported me and um, I've learned that support is so essential and it's it's just amazing when you know that you know you have people cheering you on and it's it's a great 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 feeling and I know um I know what it feels like to be supported and I know what it feels like to not be supported and I know the difference between um between the two so uh I support everyone now and all of your endeavors and I'm so grateful um so 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 grateful thank you all so much for those who have supported me from the bottom of my heart I am so grateful for you and um who else did I want to say um okay yeah so if you feel the urge to um to stop what you're doing and you know try and do something different that maybe everyone tells you not to do or that you are kind of unsure about um do it see what happens you know I've, I'm sharing my experience please share your experience with me or with not with me do it for yourself <laughs> what you do for me <laughs> do it for yourself and um I support you and I hope you have a great day